Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zaria, if you don't know me, and in today's video, I'm doing a full detailed install of this hair. It's from Wiggins Hair. Shout out to Wiggins Hair for sponsoring this video for your girl. In this video, I'm basically doing start to finish from bleaching to plucking to installing. I ain't even really had to style this hair, so I'm not even gonna say styling because this is what it looks like. I have to do nothing to it, honey. Like, this is what the hair looks like. So, this is its natural state and it's so pretty. Like, that's my favorite thing about this wig is that I ain't even had to style it, okay? It's gorgeous, just naturally, like in its natural state. So, it was very little work that I had to do once this wig was already installed, you feel me? So, I'm very impressed. This is definitely a very full, fluffy, voluminous wig. It's giving very much summer vibes for me, and I'm here for it. I really like it. And side note, like, baby hairs. That's all I have to say. Like, I've never done baby hairs like this, and I just have to say that it's giving. Like, ma'am. I don't know who I thought I was, okay? <laughs> It looks so good to me. Like, I, I feel like I did so good on this unit. This is definitely one of my favorite installs. Remember to like this video. If you like this video, comment below. And then, of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This is definitely one of my favorite units that I have reviewed on my channel. So anyways, with that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing everything I just said, then keep watching. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're switching over to the voiceover. Again, this video is sponsored by Wiggins Hair. This is the box that it comes in. They gave me a scarf, they gave me some lashes, they gave me a wig cap, and then they also gave me a drawstring bag. So now I'm just showing you guys the hair. It's 28 inches. This is what it looks like fresh out the box. And then on the inside, as you can see, it has three combs. It's a full 13 by four lace. So I love that you can part it wherever you want. I'm just taking some got to be hairspray and I'm spraying it along the hairline. That way I could brush all the hair out the way so that when I bleach it, none of the baby hairs or like any of the hair at all gets bleached. Once I'm done with that, I just flipped my wig inside out onto my wig head. That way I can get ready to bleach it. This is my bleach powder that I'm using and I'm using some 30 volume developer. Once you mix it together, it should be really thick, just like this, so that it's not falling off the brush because you definitely don't want it to fall through your lace and bleach your hair. We're only trying to bleach the knots, so this is the thickness that it should be, and I'm just go ahead and put it all over the lace. And then once I'm done, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it out. So once I'm done bleaching the unit, I'm gonna go ahead and pluck it. Y'all know I pluck every single one of my units. I don't care if it comes pre-plucked. I always, always, always pluck it because I've just never seen a wig that came with like a completely natural looking hairline the way I like it. Like I like my hairline like almost bald for real. Like I be taking so much hair out. But yeah, so I'm just plucking the frontal and I'm kind of just going in a row. I sometimes will spray it with water just so that I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And sometimes I'll pull the hair back all the way to just to see what my progress has been so you guys will see kind of like all of that And then this is basically what it looks like once I'm done plugging it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the rest of the frontal. But just so you guys can kind of see my process, this is what it looks like once I'm done plucking one side. All right, y'all, I'm putting my bald cap together. This is not the stocking cap that they gave me in the box because that one was too small. So I have to use one that I already had. Um, the one they gave me was a little darker. Like it was a good, it was a good color. Um, it was just. It was just too small. But like me, y'all know, I don't really care what color it is as long as it's lighter than me because I'm gonna make it my color anyway. So it really don't matter. 
Sorry if y'all hear a sound in the back. That is my dryer. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but if you can hear it. Okay, so now that I cut the holes, I'm taking my got to be and I'm gonna go ahead and spray down the huge. This got to be feel like it's about to be done. Like I picked up the can and it was kind of light. I mean, it's still spraying, but we'll see how long this lasts. I'm excited for this wig, y'all, because I don't even have to style it. Like, I don't have to do anything to it. I'm about to just wear it, like, in its natural state. So, we gonna see. And I work tonight, so fresh wig. I'm gonna make some money. <laughs> okay, where my blow dryer? Oh, I have to go get my blow dryer. Y'all know I hate when I have to get up when I'm recording a video because I just don't want to have to get up. But I have to get up. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I got my blow dryer, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry this um, and just dry it down. Okay, done with the blow dryer, so now I'm gonna just cut this off. I've been seeing people like do this stocking cap, like the ball cap method or whatever, and they be putting the ball cap like all the way over their eyes when they do it. Have y'all seen that before? Like, does it work? Like, is it better? Like, why are we doing all that? Like, it has to be a reason for that, right? Like, <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'll be pulling it too hard, like it's coming up or something like as I'm cutting it off. But I mean, normally y'all, I would do this before I do my makeup, but for the sake of not looking a mess on camera, I do my makeup first, but y'all probably shouldn't do that. Okay, so now that my cap is cut, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Even Tinted Lace Spray. This is what it looks like. And the color is medium brown. Y'all know this is like my holy grail cause it's like the same color as me. So it makes my lace look more melted, I guess you would say. And I sprayed the tinted lace spray on this lace too, just so it could all be the same color. You can see it has like a brownish tint to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Right now I'm just putting the back comb in and then I'm gonna pull it forward. This wig seemed kind of small. I just feel like how small do y'all think my head is? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and like tie this up. As soon as I find my clip. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna clip this because I want to see what the size of this is going to look like. So yeah, I definitely need to like cut some of this lace like back a little bit because I just don't want to see that. I feel like your lace melts a little bit better when you like pay attention to stuff like this. So I'm going to cut this back a little bit and then I'm probably going to do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut it. Like y'all see that? I just want to be like a little bit further back. Just a little bit. Okay, it's looking better. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll it back and move on to the glue. This is the glue that I'm using, y'all. There's so many words on the tube, I'm not really sure which part of it is the title, but it's from the beauty supply store and that's what it looked like, so. <laughs> What I do is, I just started using this glue and I feel like my installs have just been like on 10, like they have stayed on way longer. So I'm gonna use one layer of this, a couple layers of my bold hold, and then one more layer of this. I like to push my glue like forward a little bit so that it can kind of like lay down a little bit of that excess cap. To me it just makes it look even more like a ball cap. And not for nothing, I think I'm gonna do one more layer of this because I just feel like I ain't put enough. So <laughs> I'm gonna put more. I'm not sure what this cap size is, but it makes it so much harder to install when the cap isn't the right size. I feel like it's like a, a small or something. Like I feel like I'm more like a medium. Maybe I'm a large, maybe I gotta be head. I don't know, but I just hope this come out right because <laughs> I don't got time. Okay, so now I'm going in with my bolt hold and I'm about to do a couple more layers. Well, a couple layers, cause I ain't even do no layers yet. Thank you. 
Okay, once I have a clear layer, I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the second layer of Bold Hold. And I'm probably gonna do like four layers, maybe five if I'm feeling froggy. We'll see, it really all depends on how I feel by like layer number three. Alright, layer number three. I'm telling y'all, like when I first start, I'd be really sitting here thinking I'm gonna do like seven layers and then it don't happen. <laughs> but it's fine. Okay, I don't even remember what layer I'm on now. I <clears throat> I don't remember what layer I'm on. I don't remember if that was layer three or two. So we just gonna act like, I think it was layer three. So this is layer four. All right, last one. This is, I think it's layer five, so we gonna stop here. And then I'm gonna do like one last layer of that other glue. What is this? What is this? Like, no ma'am, not today. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this last layer, and then I'm gonna do one more layer of the other glue. Then we finally gonna lay her down, and that means the hard part is over, okay? All right, y'all, we done with the bold holds. So now we finna go, go back to this other glue, the first glue that I was using. Should I let try a little bit more? Okay, we doing the last layer. Alright y'all, it's almost time to finally lay this thing down. Let me find my comb now, cause here it go. Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna lay it down. I just wanna let it dry like a little bit <laughs> before I just lay her down. But I don't know why this part always makes me so nervous. Like anyway. Okay y'all, so now that we are glued down from ear to ear, this is what we looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this down for a couple minutes, just so that she can like really melt. Like we need it to be all the way melted. We trying to look like scalp. So yeah, so we're tied down. I'm gonna wait like a couple minutes. What am I about to do? I'm about to go get some water or something. This is like my break time, y'all. Okay, like, once I tie her down, like, I'm gonna check my phone, go get some water, the whole nine. All right, so, ooh, it's been at least like five minutes, I think. So I'm gonna take this off. Ooh, so we're looking good, we're looking great. So now I'm gonna put this lace do I want to use a razor this time? I know I haven't been using a razor lately. I don't know why. I just like suddenly feel like I have no control over the razors. Let me go find one real quick. <laughs> okay, I got one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Y'all see what I mean? I don't know. I already feel like I'm losing control. So I'm just gonna use scissors. 
I used to use a razor though, like I don't know what happened. I don't know why all of a sudden like I'm incapable of doing this with a razor, like, but it's whatever. It's fine, it's totally fine. Okay y'all, we all cut. So I'm gonna pull some baby hairs down. How do I, I don't really know how I wanna do my baby hairs. Hmm. I think I'm gonna just pull some down over here. I know I'm not about to use all these baby hairs, but honestly, it's whatever. Like, I'm gonna just have them. I'm gonna just have them down just in case. Um, so I'm gonna just spray my got to be just so that I can like melt my lace like a little bit more. Just a little bit. Although it's already pretty melted. a little bit more for good luck okay I know I'm not gonna use all these baby hairs I'm about to end up plucking like most of this out but it's fine it's totally fine um should I have part of my hair first no we finna tie her down again real quick I don't know how my elastic got all the way over there like did y'all see me throw my elastic because I'm not understanding Yeah, we definitely laid this lace. <laughs> it's definitely giving what needs to be gave. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then we gonna come <clears throat> and then we're gonna come back and part it down the middle. I mean I could do a side no, we're gonna part it down the middle. We're gonna part it down the middle <laughs> and then that's basically gonna be it. Oh the baby hair is done. And then the baby hair is and then we're gonna be done. We're gonna be done. Alright, I'm gonna tying this now. Well, dang, like, if I could get it out the hair, that would be nice. Like, how the hell? Okay, so let's part her. First of all, y'all know I suck at making parts. Like, this is not my strong suit. But it's okay, because we're going to get there eventually. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hot comb this part down. So it could be flat. I am gonna use my wax stick, y'all, so don't worry. I'm definitely gonna use the wax stick. I just needed to like get it to lay down a little bit first. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the wax stick. If I can find it. Here we go. Um, this is the wax stick that I, I'm already ready to open it and use it. I didn't even show it to y'all yet. This is the wax stick that I'm using. It's called She Is Bomb. I just feel like wax sticks are so important when it comes to like getting your stuff flat. Okay, you want your weight to be flat? Get you one of these. Don't sleep on the wax, on the wax sticks because a hot comb is gonna get it flat, but a hot comb and a wax stick combo, that's what's really gonna do it. Good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these little baby hairs and decide how I want them to go. 
say if it's too much hair, which it kind of already, I can already kind of see that it is too much hair. It's just gonna get brushed back, for real. But I like to have a little bit extra. I definitely just cut that too short, but it's fine. <laughs> We're gonna make it work. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm using my baby hair brush, which is like so dirty right now. And my Eco Styler Gel. And I'm gonna go ahead and start styling them. Okay, y'all, my baby hairs are finally done. When I tell y'all, that took so long, like, oh my God, but they look good though, period. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie them down. Okay, we tie down. Y'all, this is like my first time doing like these real intense baby hairs like this. Y'all know I, I don't be doing all that. Oof, keep it real simple. But I felt like with this hair, it'd be real cute. So yeah, so I'm gonna let this sit for like, maybe like five minutes or so. And then, and then we're gonna take it off. And we're gonna be done. <laughs> okay, y'all, this is it. This is the finished look. I think it looks so good. It came out bomb. Like, who is she? <laughs> yeah, I love how fluffy it is. I love how beautiful it is, like in its natural state. Like I didn't have to do anything to like make the waves come like it's just naturally like this i really do like that because you know normally after i'm over here looking like did my baby hairs mess up my makeup because they definitely did but <laughs> but yeah like you know normally after you like do your after you like do your part and then you do your baby hairs you still have to style your hair after that but this hair you don't gotta do all that like literally you could be outside just like this period okay let me show y'all how long it is So this is how long it is in the front. And then this is how long it is in the back. So it's a very long. You can even see from the side, like it's literally like past my butt almost. Very long. So yeah, as you can see, this 20 inches is some very long hair. I love it though. Like I haven't, I've never done baby hairs like this, but I've always wanted to, but I very rarely wear like wavy or curly hair. So I just never really did my baby hairs like this because I feel like it looks best with wavy or curly hair. But yeah, like it looks bomb. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. This is probably one of my favorite installs. I hope you enjoyed the install. I hope you definitely try out this wig because it's actually one of my favorite wigs that I've <laughs> reviewed thus far. Can't even lie. Like, it's just, it's so full and voluminous and just like fluffy. Like, I just, I really like this hair. Um, I'm here for it. It's, it's giving. It's giving everything that needs to be gave, okay? Like, man. <laughs> y'all, look at this. Like, we're looking bomb. Like, I've never done baby hair like this. I'm here for it. Like, it's giving scalp, okay? Anywho, <laughs> like this video if you like this video. Comment below. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in the next one.